A BC guide dog that actually flunked out of training due to allergies is now helping people who are overcoming addiction. The caring canine is working with his dog mom. Tess Van Stratton has the dog gone good details in this week's Vital People. Dan O'Sullivan looks forward to his time with Django. I love Django. I am probably his biggest fan. The Labrador Retriever became an assistant therapy dog at New Roads Therapeutic Recovery Community in View Royal after flunking out of the BC and Alberta guide dog training program due to his allergies. I was lucky enough to be matched with Django and then he came to work with me here at New Roads and he is now the facility dog here. Django goes to morning meetings and activities and even therapy sessions with some of the men. Django's been a world of difference here. Um, when he comes into the room, everything kind of lights up and he lightens up the mood. He's also very intuitive, so he understands if somebody's not feeling well or if they're sad or down and he'll go to them specifically. Boy. Dan had an instant connection with the caring canine who gives Dan unconditional love as he recovers from a drug addiction that saw him hit rock bottom. Ended up on the street and after seeing basically a lot of friends pass away and uh, having a really severe overdose myself, I uh, just decided like enough is enough. Dan's now thriving at New Roads. It's a long-term treatment facility for men that takes 9 to 24 months and it's run by our place. It really kind of teaches you patience and kind of, um, I'm, I'm usually a very impulsive person and whatnot, so it's, uh, it's really good just to learn that um, patience and the, um, you know, working for things and, and slowly getting everything back in your life, which is uh, amazing. I think the model works so well because it's based in that idea of uh, the opposite of addiction is connection. And here men find a connection first to themselves and then to the community that is here. So they find this brotherhood in working with the other men that are here. The men take care of the beautiful gardens as well as cleaning the facility and helping out in the kitchen, all aimed at fostering connection and a sense of purpose. So they're kind of responsible for their own community. Again, it goes back to that idea of community and giving back to your community once you, you kind of uh, are focused and grounded in yourself. A separate program for women will be opening soon. And Django, who even has his own Instagram page, will no doubt help even more people through the ups and downs of recovery. It helps me a lot just kind of forgetting um, kind of the uh, hardships, just taking my mind off of all the uh, negativity. Huh? Good boy and um, really just reminding me a lot about um, the, you know, the little things to look forward to after treatment. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.